Still today, after many years living in Plain Township, I love exploring the old homes and barns and fields. You never know what you're gonna find, what treasure is beneath your feet. Ohio has a rich history of Native American culture. In fact, in 1916, when the Mills Atlas was published, which showed all the places where the Native Americans lived, there was over 3,500 mounds, including two here in Plain Township. For hundreds of years, local farmers have reaped stone tools, axes, celts, archaic points, paleo points, whatever kind of artifact you could think of, they have found it beneath their feet when plowing their fields. In recent years, Many, many collectors walk the cornfields and soybean fields of Plain Township in search of these artifacts. Today, we have lots of these artifacts saved from times past. When we're talking about Native Americans, we have to realize that there's two time periods involved. You have the prehistoric man, which would be the Adena, the Hopewell, the Paleo as the oldest, in fact, or we have modern Native Americans, which would be the tribes that we read about in history. What's interesting is the necessity of the Native Americans for these items. For instance, they had to ground the corn that they planted, and so they would use a pestle, which is a stone tool that's made to the shape of your hand. This would be on a shaft and be put together to use to chop wood or to scrape a hide of an animal that they had, had killed recently. When we think of arrowheads, most of the ones we find are broken because of the tractors and the plows for hundreds of years have went through the soil and broke them. It's amazing to think that all of the artifacts that you see in front of you were found within Plain Township through the years. So the next time you're walking around Bevelheimer Park or the new Taylor Farm Park when it's established, remember beneath your feet could be thousands of years in history in all sorts of artifacts. <music>